in a world. More specifically, in an AMVETS post in Yarmouth, Maine, one of the fiercest groups of competitors ever assembled are ready to do one thing many are scared to do. Flirt with disaster. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Limitless Wrestling Event Center. My name is Harry Aaron, and we are heading into Flirtin' with Disaster, January 24th in Yarmouth, Maine. In a first time ever matchup, we will be seeing the prize, Alec Price take on Danhausen. Alec Price has been laying challenges out to anyone who will listen, even interrupting and then fighting JD Drake at Twilight Zone with no victory to show for it. This time, fan favorite Danhausen returns to Limitless Wrestling to accept the challenge. He's looking for victory and some prize city teeth. In yet another first time ever contest, we will be seeing the blue collar badass JD Drake take on the rogue prince himself, Brian Pillman Jr. JD Drake looks to string together his second straight victory after beating the bricks off of Alec Price at Twilight Zone. He's got a tall test if he wants to do it though. Brian Pillman Jr. has been, without a doubt, one of the most requested talents for Limitless Wrestling over this past year, and it's not hard to see why. Flying Brian got his first taste of Limitless action at 01 Northeast in November, where he unsuccessfully challenged Anthony Green for the Limitless World title. Can Brian Pillman Jr. punch his ticket to a return engagement to Limitless Wrestling by defeating the blue collar badass, or will JD Drake lock two straight victories? We'll be finding that out on January 24th. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a thick boy throwdown as John Silver takes on Puff. This is a match that has been building for quite some time. Puff has been trying to work his way into the thick boys since November of 2018. Through trials and tribulations, he won over Jay Freddy, but could never do enough to please John Silver. Can Puff prove his worth by finally defeating his thick boy hero? It all comes down to this, Protégé versus Meat Man at Flirtin' with Disaster. Continuing the trend of first time ever matches, we will be seeing the real catch Ashley Vox take on Tasha Steeles. Ashley Vox, fresh off one of the biggest victories in her limitless career against Chris Statlander at Twilight Zone, now heads into battle against one of the top females on the independents today, Tasha Steeles. Meanwhile, Tasha Steeles is looking to make an impact in her debut by going head to head with one of the best in the company right out the gate. Ashley Vox was virtually untouchable throughout 2019, only losing one match to the then Limitless Wrestling World Champion MJF. Can Tasha Steeles make her mark in Limitless Wrestling by taking out one of the biggest fish in the pond right out the gate, or will Ashley Vox keep the momentum rolling as we go into 2020? We will find out at Flirtin' with Disaster. For some, a new year means a fresh start. And for these four Limitless Wrestling competitors, that is exactly what they are looking for. At the Fresh Start 4-Way, it will be Josh Briggs versus Jody Threat versus Kevin Blackwood versus Alexander Lee, as accompanied by Joey East. All four competitors in this match ended 2019 with a loss, but we know that at least one of them will come out of this match the victor. At Fresh Blood, Josh Briggs was defeated by Anthony Green in a Limitless Wrestling Championship match. Jody Threat lost to Masha Slamovich at Twilight Zone and is still looking for her first Limitless victory. Kevin Blackwood teamed with the Butcher and the Blade, losing to JT Dunn, Christian Casanova, and Joshua Bishop. And Alexander Lee was pinned and humiliated by Gangrel in a four-way dance. Despite their losses, before the end of the night on January 24th, one of those competitors will be having their hand raised. In yet another first time ever contest, we will be seeing Red Death Daniel Garcia go one on one with the Oswald Project. Now, I know I'm not supposed to play favorites and I'm supposed to be completely objective with this, but after the last match that Oswald Project had in Limitless Wrestling, I'm frankly terrified for how he's going to come out of this one. Red Death is pissed off to say the least. 
the Limitless Wrestling fans decided to turn on him in his match with Fred Yehai, and instead of using that to feel defeated, all he did was get angrier and more violent. So you're putting him against Oswald Project? The guy's chest was Hamburg after his last match. Randy, dude, not cool. Oswald, be safe, he's not your friend. Fight! Keeping things rolling along, we are going to be seeing CJ Cruz, AKA the Little Brick Shithouse, taking on the one JT Dunn. At this time last year, CJ Cruz was a relative unknown in professional wrestling. Fast forward to now, the Let's Wrestle standout is riding a two match win streak heading into January 24th and now has the biggest opportunity of his life ahead of him. A match with one of the building blocks of Limitless Wrestling, JT Dunn. Dunn made it a point to seek out CJ during his post match interview at Twilight Zone, calling him another flavor of the month in Limitless Wrestling that he plans to dispose of. What the hell are you doing? Do you know what this banner says? It says Limitless Wrestling. And the new banner next show is gonna say the house that Dunn built. You're out here parading victories? Who did you beat? So... It doesn't even matter who you beat. They're irrelevant. You have done nothing of substance here in Limitless Wrestling. You don't deserve promo time. You don't get to talk to my fans. You don't get to get sit here with all of these streamers. You don't even deserve these streamers. I have revoked your streamer privilege. Me? I'm the foundation here of Limitless Wrestling. And it's flash in the pants. It's flavors of the week like you, CJ, that are starting to give Limitless Wrestling a bad name. See, Limitless used to be about the best wrestlers in the world fighting the best wrestlers in the world to see who's the best. And I've climbed that mountain every single time. And I've been the best. Now Limitless seems to be whoever hangs out at Randy's house. If that's how you want to get booked, so be it, kid. But if you got balls, how about next show? Biggest match of your life. CJ, the flavor of the week, versus the one, JT Dunn. Don't even give me an answer. I know you're going to accept. Who doesn't want to box with God? Is CJ Cruz ready for a match of this magnitude? Is it possible that JT Dunn is underestimating Cruz? All I know is, if that is the level of rookie that we're looking at in Limitless Wrestling, it is safe to say heading into 2020, this roster is stronger than ever. I can't wait to see how this one shakes out at flirting with disaster. Whew, I gotta say, it's uh, starting to feel a little bit chilly in here. I mean, maybe it's because we're a little bit far north. Maybe. It's because the North is coming to Limitless Wrestling to take on the defenders of the Great North. That's right, Ethan Page and Joshua Alexander come together to face off against Danger Kid and Aiden Agra. For months, the Main State Posse have been begging and pleading for the best tag teams in the country to come to their home turf of Maine. Now, they have the World Tag Team Champions to contest with. I can't. Limitless Wrestling. I've never been there before. Ever? No. No, and we're wrestling the best tag team in the area because yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what the North asked for because we want the best tag team. We want we the go. best. And We've literally run through every single one in this company, so we're coming to Limitless this Friday. Yeah, and since I've been there so many times, yeah. I can kind of give you the lay of the land. So the Main State Posse wrestles the best teams across the globe, building up to the best team in the world, the World Tag Team Champions, the North. I have never come with Josh Alexander to Limitless Wrestling. We have never shown our tag team dominance in Limitless Wrestling. So, Main State Posse, you can enjoy being big fish in a small pond because the minute our feet touch that canvas, the pond starts growing. And you realize what it's like to be in the water with a bunch of mother sharks. You like that? I'll beep that I'll fire out. It up. I'll beep it out. Yeah, a little pool emoji there. I'll beep it out. I can't wait to come to live with this rest of this yeah. Friday. Despite stringing together some massive victories in 2019, the last match for the Main State Posse was a loss as they attempted to take on Anthony Green and Ace Romero. Where are their heads at going into 2020? We'll be finding out with their biggest test to date at Flirting with Disaster. It is now time to talk about the marquee match of the night the main event of the evening. 
Retrosexual Anthony Green versus AC Baby Ace Romero versus Killanova himself, Christian Casanova, for the Limitless Wrestling World Championship. Since winning the championship from MJF in September, Anthony Green has racked up multiple successful defenses, as well as the aforementioned exhibition match victory with Ace Romero against MSP. But now, he has two competitors across the ring from him at once. Two men who are at the top of their game and coming into 2020 with a world of momentum. Ace Romero has been chomping at the bit, waiting for a shot at this championship after not being involved in the decision of the inaugural contest this past March. This is Christian Casanova's first shot at the Limitless Gold, and it is not one that he is taking lightly. He's been undefeated since September, with victories against the likes of Myron Reed, Kevin Blackwood, and Layla Hirsch. And with his momentum at an all-time high, Christian has finally called his shot. I'm telling you, you're giving me a title shot. I'm not asking you. Fuck it! I'll take both of you on! Did Anthony Green put himself in a lose-lose situation to show that he's the fighting champion he wants to be? Can Ace Romero finally ascend to the top of the mountain in Limitless Wrestling after being one of its forefathers? Can Christian Casanova change the tone from being the up-and-comer of 2019 to the top dog, the top talent of 2020? Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait to find out, and I know that neither can you. So please come on out on January 24th for Limitless Wrestling's Flirting with Disaster. My name is Harry Aaron. I'm excited to see you out there. Have a good night.